Uh, I was just teaching my guest a few things backstage. <laughs> Any number of countries would be happy to, uh, to, to trade their gross national product for the paycheck that my, my guest tonight picked up for a single night's work uh, right. not too long ago. My guest is the great boxer Sugar Ray Leonard, and the paycheck was $10 million. Or for, all he had to do was defend his welterweight title against Roberto Duran. Um, <clears throat> as you may know, it was a pretty rough night's work. I've never seen a fight like that uh, in which Sugar Ray lost the bout and the title, but there are some things he didn't lose, and one of his reputation for being one of history's most stylish boxers uh, in the ring, and for also being a, a clean-cut fulfillment of the American dream outside the ring. He's, he's a gentleman, a good citizen of sport, and <clears throat> we thought it'd be interesting to uh, have him come on the show, tell us where all that and $10 million leaves him. So if you'll welcome, please, the wonderful Sugar Ray Leonard. That's it. Thank you. I was, uh, I was giving my guest just a little lesson in tap dancing backstage, and it's, uh, he, he realizes the value of studying with a master. And what, uh, what, what possessed you to take up tap dancing? Well, it was something I always wanted to do, Dick. I think I everybody could always wanted. Yeah, and I you never could afford Couldn't to afford take. It tap dance lessons yeah. but um, if, I, if I figure if I can take it from you I can be pretty pretty good yes I'm, I'm in the succession that begins with Fred Astaire and comes yeah. down through various other parts of Nebraska to me Fred Astaire's from Nebraska you know yeah, yeah a lot of graceful people are that <laughs> that may be the best fight I've ever seen in some ways the uh, Duran fight uh, ha you've seen it of course I was there well <laughs> Uh, I know. I know. Yeah. But have you looked it over? I have. Uh, I've viewed the fight, and uh, I've reached the conclusion that I won the fight. You know, if, Is I, that so? if I was a judge, I would have won that fight. I wonder if you could get a judge to agree with you, because uh, sometimes they'll admit that uh, getting a different yeah. view of it, they'll. Yeah. But they never see me fight inside. They always used to be dancing and moving and running mm -hmm. and hitting and trying not to get hit and clowning what they call. Uh, but this time I said, I'm gonna fight Duran, fight him straight up, beat him at his own game, which was kind of crazy anyway. But I stood there and he hit me so hard. I thought about what my mother told me. He said, Ray, don't ever be a boxer. And I thought about that. Yeah. But I was so determined to win because I didn't want to lose the title. I lost it, but I kind of like want to get it back. Well, how can I help you? <laughs> I... You keep uh, well, show me some more movements so I can uh, <laughs> yeah, but use more footwork. Okay. Yeah, I, the, the announcer kept saying, I can't believe it. He's just standing there. Wait, he's he's fight, fighting Duran in his own style. Uh, why isn't he using his style? And they kept saying, I don't, he must have said 15 times, I don't believe that he's standing there flat-footed uh, instead of dancing. Yeah. Um, now, I still don't know. Is this a decision that Angelo Dundee made or that you made or that you made on the instant or... Can we ever no. clear this up? It was a decision that I, a strategy, a plan that I set out to do. Yeah. Because I just wanted to beat Duran a certain way. See, in defeating a man at his own game, mm -hmm. it's, you, it's much more credibility. You see. You, get, you, get, you mean you get more points for beating yeah, at his well, own game? Yeah, well, in a sense. I mean, as far as the press and the media is <laughs> concerned, yeah. they say, wow, I mean, look what he did. But see, if I just beat Duran by just dancing and moving, they say, Sugar Ray Leonard beat. Roberto Duran, an old ancient fighter, guy that didn't train properly, guy that had sickness. He has something about his heart was he had a heart murmur or something, mm -hmm. and uh, his, he pulled his back out of socket. Uh, he knocked a horse out one day. He knocked a horse he out. Knocked a horse out. Intentionally? I don't know. <laughs> but you don't just go by looking at it. No, he sucked him. I yeah. mean, but you don't go around punching all animals, do you? <laughs> I know you don't. I haven't punched an animal in months. I... <laughs> I heard of an incident like that. Was he the one who knocked, who, who hit a horse between the eyes and, yeah. the, and dropped it? And dropped it cold. Well, that'll Isn't certainly that win him a lot instead? of fans among the animals. <laughs> You're not trying to start an argument between not, the two of you, are you? Not really. We were buddies. We were buddies. We were friends, as a matter of fact. And we talked to each other, especially in Las Vegas. He said, hey, how you doing? Should I say, amigo, my amigo. And the minute we signed a contract, I'm going to kill you. Uh-huh. Yeah, so. Who uh, started it, though? That's the thing. Well, Duran did. I would say Duran, but I kind of yeah. like, 
I aggravated him. You know, I um, I blew a kiss at him. I guess that would make the average guy mad. I don't know. Now I want to know something. Did the word maricon come into play? I at didn't all? say that. I didn't say that. Oh. I don't know what happened. The who went? I don't even what know what it, that means. What is, I was going to ask. I assume it's what Spanish it for mean? macaroni, isn't it? Or? <laughs> He called me a clown. Now, that was in English. Uh-huh. <laughs> no that. doubt about that. But uh, I don't know. Mighty clown. What does it mean? What, what does it mean, hands? Huh? Faggot. Faggot. Glad oh, I family? Asked. It means family? Uh, family. Uh, apparently, it, it, it means uh, homosexual. No. Uh, of a certain type. Yeah. Um, now, you wouldn't knowingly have no. called a man no, you know me better that, that you knew would be inflamed by it the yes. way he would. Yes. Because at the press conference here in New York, before the fight, I said, Duran, I will kill you. And they say, hey, that's not Sugar Ray's character. That's not his style. I said, kill, K-E-E-L. You will kill him over. Kill him over. Oh, you see, they get around. I see. They jump the gun. Mm-hmm. And when but, you said, I'll put him in his grave, you meant in his groove. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Well, when you watch a fight played back like that, are you watching yourself primarily, or are you watching the other guy to see what slipped past you? You know, like a lot of times, I hate to be, you know, into the fight too much because it, being a fighter, number one, you have the instincts of watching it. And uh -huh. You start doing all that kind of stuff, you know, you feel kind of crazy. <laughs> Ooh, if anybody's yeah. watching you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But um, I envision a driving down the beltway, down the highway, and I think about Duran, my wife's sitting there, I start punching her. <laughs> but I... You must be fun to sleep with. Yeah. I, I have nightmares, I really do. I, I read that in Sports Illustrated. Tell me one of your nightmares. Lie back and just tell me your dreams. I, well, one particular night, I, I, uh, I just jumped up because I saw a hand coming through the wall, reaching for my wife, you know? And I start hitting it with a pillow, my wife. <laughs> yeah, because I try to protect her. And then I thought about the, all my money she spent on credit cards and blowing, buying all kinds of gifts for everyone. So I stopped hitting. Uh huh. And I wanted the hand to grab her. <laughs> because. Uh, you were now pulling for the hand. Yes. Uh huh. I was going to get her. <laughs> no wonder this poor woman has yeah. fainted uh, a couple of times. She, she fainted during the fight. She now, did. Was that true or was that publicity? No, she, I, she really fainted. I think she's never seen me in, in a particular fight where that I've been hit and hurt and was pretty much trying to make a comeback. Yeah. And I think the excitement, I think the intensity of the fight and the people and the public, I mean, it really got to her. And, uh, he had kinda, you had never lost a fight at never. that point. No, I haven't. Yeah. I kind of felt like faint myself. I mean, that fight, he hit me hard. I, I won't forget that. Uh, and that's another thing. The, the ringside announcer kept saying, I don't see how any human being can take these punches that both of you were delivering, by the way. But uh, I, I don't either. Is you there any way you can make one of us understand wow. how hard you're hit? Uh, OK, just now you envision this. OK, now you sitting in a dentist's office, and all of a sudden he starts that drill. Uh -huh. The feeling that comes over you, you know, you're saying, no. The same way. I see the right hand, I said, no, but it's too late. <laughs> Boom. But then, it's a, when it hits, like, your legs react. I mean, go uh -huh. there, your legs start doing this. You can feel it all yeah, the way down. Yeah, but the main thing, you shouldn't panic. See, a lot of fighters get hit and they're hurt. Psychologically, they panic and they lose control, they lose composure, and boom, yeah. it's all over. But what I did, my legs did, I did like this. Yeah. And I caught myself. I was conscious. I knew what had happened. I knew he hit me hard. So I covered up and I tried to let him punch himself out. And I looked to see if he's still there. <laughs> I covered back up and by then my head was clear, so I came back. What would you have done if he hadn't been there when you certainly <laughs> would I, I really don't know. You never actually dream the fight though, huh? You never you never have a nightmare of the fight itself. Is it always something like a hand coming through a wall or Yeah, I don't you know? dream about the fight, you know. Um, I made a couple pennies, so I'm pretty pleased, but I still yeah. want the title back, you know. There will be a rematch. I'm looking forward to a rematch. See, Duran's talking now. He said he wants to emulate Henry Armstrong, who was a former welterweight champion, uh, junior middleweight champion, and mm -hmm. middleweight. He wants to follow that same line. He wants to move it to junior middle, which is 154, you know. 
but I can move up. I eat a couple pancakes, I'm there too. <laughs> I really don't understand that about weight. It's, uh, it's unfair in a way. I mean, the world's greatest ballet dancer doesn't lose any points if he's not as heavy or as tall as somebody else. Or, you know, I'm, uh, it doesn't have to be the tallest or the biggest or the heaviest in any other sport or any other art or anything. But it, it's conceivable that the world's greatest fighter could be a welterweight much better than the man who's the heavyweight champion, but he loses points if he isn't the heavyweight champion. That isn't... Well, I tell you, I feel so good that um, the Olympic exposure that I receive has helped me in, in as much as bringing the same a amazement, excitement, the same anticipation to those non-heavyweights, because yeah. the heavyweights always dominated the boxing world. Sure. But now the little guys are doing a job, and it's much more excitement than we're still showing that Boxing is an art because say, people say, hey, man, it's brutality. It's not brutality if the safety, you know, the referee, if he makes sure there's safety at mm -hmm. all times. I think boxing as a whole is scientific techniques display, you know, moving around. But the fight with Duran, that was more of a gladiator and who can beat who. It was yeah. like a street fight, a brawl, like they want to say it. It looked to me like the, the uh, ring referee had trouble getting you two apart more than once. Yeah. I don't think he tried that hard. He could have did if he really wanted to. I wish he had. It. Well, he had a repu he has a reputation for separating people. Yes, and he did. but uh, I don't know. Maybe just a different fight altogether. But they're gonna show the fight again. I think there's this some coming up this week. On yes, Saturday. I think by the time this is on, the viewers will have had a chance to see the fight. Isn't that right? It's been seen only on closed circuit so far. Yeah, and, I, was, I was there. Yeah, you really yeah. were. I wanted, a, I wanted a ring size seat, but I was a little bit too close that time. <laughs> <laughs> I was too close. You can really ring. Do you feel pain at the moment you're hit, or do you just feel shock? It's, it's quick. Mm -hmm. You know, the blow is delivered, and you just feel the reaction of it. Yeah. You don't feel the pain uh, until maybe two days later. Mm -hmm. You know, the next morning I wake up, I, I was aware that I had lost the title, and I... I went downstairs and my brother said, put some sunshades on because I had like a slight swelling. Yeah. I said, no, I said, uh, I'm gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna look the way I left the ring. And I went downstairs and I had a, a four or five pancakes and uh, I didn't feel bad. But then as I got home, then I start hurting here and here, all mm -hmm. back here, my shoulders, my, my hands didn't bother me. Normally I had, you know, my hands just be fragile. Yeah. And I had knots on the back of my head. That's why it grew my hair long. I had knots to cover to, oh, your knots? Oh, yeah. Wow. All on the back of my head. He loose one my my tooth. Yeah, I wonder what your dentist bill is yeah. for pre yeah. We just like that. Can you <laughs> we see each other quite often. Which one is you in that uh, well, I guess. I like it. Uh, well, um <laughs> that, that made me think of something. I've, oh, do you urinate blood after a fight? I've always heard that. When you take a tremendous amount of blows to your body, normally that's the reaction. Yeah. Let's see what happened. After that fight, I lost about eight pounds. I went in 147, I left about 139, 140. Yeah. And all I had to drink was grape juice. I kept drinking grape juice. So when I went to the bathroom, I said, oh my God. <laughs> I looked, I said, nah. I said, it can't be. So, grape juice will do that? Yeah. So then I, I waited again. And I went back. All right. It was okay. It was okay. It was okay. Like everybody else. Well, but it scared me. It really do me a favor. Me. Drink white grape juice. I know. I think I've it. There is such a thing. <laughs>